Let's hear from the comedian Peter Szymowski what it's like being Polish. If you enjoy this, hit that like button and subscribe. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Peter. Uh, I'm a comedian. I'm Polish, uh, but I grew up in the UK uh, because I'm Polish. Uh, <laughs> that's what we do. Uh, to be fair, I think we have a lot of Polish people in the UK, which is absolutely fine. That's cool because every town has a Polish shop and I love Polish food. So it is a win-win. <laughs> I speak English really well. But my parents don't. It does. That's a problem. That's always been a problem. Because my mum loves to speak English, but she doesn't really know how. Like every time we go to a restaurant, she always orders. And she always orders the same thing. She always goes, I would like uh, one wine for me and the cock for my son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Mom, do you mean Coke? <laughs> yes, one big cock for my son. <laughs> Isn't it so funny how certain nationalities and ethnicities that have their language and they try and speak a different language and they complete, it's not necessarily butchering a language, but there's certain words that they say, which, yeah, sound like a different naughty word. I once overheard her telling a story about how she met my dad in a bank. And she was just talking with a friend and she was like, oh, I met, uh, I met Tadeusz uh, in the bank. Uh, he was trying to open a cunt. Uh, <laughs> but my cunt was closed. And uh, I said, check account. Uh, check my cunt. Uh, I was like, fuck, I've never heard that story, mom. Uh, it's weird when your parents don't really speak the same language you do. Like mine try, but they just don't really do it. You know what I mean? Like my dad, he speaks perfect English, but he just puts too much, too much pressure on certain words that don't matter. You know what I mean? Like he's very negative and he puts too much pressure on nouns. So like if you ask him the question, dad, is the glass half full or half empty? My dad will go, glass is full of emptiness. <laughs> I know the Poles are meant to be known as a little bit negative or, or a little bit pessimistic, but that is extreme. <laughs> oh. Like, Dad, why are you saying this? Because the glass is empty. Very negative. <laughs> Very negative. <laughs> it sometimes feels to me like I'm the only Polish person that can speak English and Polish. I sometimes get that, then we don't really, like we don't know, how many people are here from Poland? Give me a clap if you're from Poland. There's some. All right, actually, give me a clap if you're from abroad. All right, excellent. Now, have, have the people from abroad, have you watched films in Poland? You watched like the, 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 the films? <laughs> um, because we don't, we don't know how to translate them. We have no idea how to translate films. These are genuine, true movie titles that we translated. Like, like the movie Die Hard. The movie Die Hard in Polish, this is not even, like, I didn't make this up. The movie Die Hard in Polish is loosely translated as glass trap. What? Because the first one happens in a glass building <coughs> and we didn't know there's gonna be sequels. <laughs> so Die Hard 2, is called Glass Trap 2. <laughs> the Hangover? The Hangover was loosely translated as Hungover in Vegas, which is all right. But the yeah. sequel was translated as Hungover in Vegas in Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. Brokeback Mountain? Brokeback Mountain in Polish was translated as the mystery of Brokeback Mountain. It is a mystery. 
because to us homosexualism is a mystery. <laughs> Uh, I was impressed. Uh, it's nice to see comedians taking uh, taking the mick, taking the piss out of what they know. And because they are from that culture, they can get away with, well, saying what they say. Peter Zumowski, well played, buddy. Well played. Uh, a funny guy. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.